Hello, I'm Ben Stein. My brain is a miraculous instrument. It contains the information I use to protect my money. Five thousand dollars. I'll put it up, but I won't give it up without a fight. But if you're smart enough, quick enough, and lucky enough, you can win Ben Stein's money. So come on, Shorty, if you think you can roll with an iced-out player falling out of control who's throwing down five thousand dollars of his money and they can't if they can. But perhaps even more important than my five thousand dollars is the search for a new co-host. We've decided it'll be one of Jimmy Kimmel's relatives. We're going to examine another one today. So now let's turn to the Gryffindor, to my Gryffindor, to my Slytherin, and Jimmy Kimmel, and find out who. These people are these ones, and which relative is a potential co-host today? All right. Uh, today we have Aunt Chippy. Oh, I know Aunt Chippy. Yes. She's very smart. Very yes. 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 Aunt Chippy lives in Las Vegas. And what is it you do for a living? Are you still swindling old people out of their uh, retirement Every fund? Every chance I get. Every chance you yeah. get. Very good. <laughs> so Aunt Chippy, here's how it works. Our first contestant is Michael Liner. Michael, Michael is a uh, telephone banker, Very good. and um, under Michael's uh, list of achievements, the uh, only thing he had was that he was the only kid to clear the high jump bar in second grade. Very good. It's been, <laughs> it's been a long dry spell. Thank you. Thank you. So that's Michael, and you okay. move on, and you do number two. You have and glasses. Number two is a stair press, a juvenile court hearing officer. Oh. Then, uh, <laughs> did you hear about Ben's son, Tommy? No, no, no. You will. Okay. You will. <laughs> His name is Full Court Press. Uh, <laughs> very Why do they call you Full Court, Esther? Because I'm a basketball fan and I work in the court, and my last name is Press. Oh, right. it's not because you got a big it. ass or anything like that. <laughs> I forgot that was that. All right. <laughs> and our third contestant is Dan McHugh, graduate student at UNLV. What do you study, Dan? Communication. Really? It's yeah. Just, you look like you're in fifth grade. Yeah. <laughs> How old are you really, Dan? 14. No, no. Uh, 24. Well, you are a very youthful looking Dan, I'm like Doogie Hauser. I didn't even know they had a graduate program at UNLV. I went there, and nobody I know graduated. <laughs> <laughs> my, oh, yeah, that's right. My cousin, oh, I'm sorry, Aunt Chippy's children did graduate there. All right, and you want to say fire, Dan? Yes. What? Where, where, what, what was the scenario there? Uh, it wasn't like a dare or anything. I knew someone that was teaching fire at a retreat, and they offered to teach me, and I did. What kind of retreat was that? Circus Freak uh, Weekend? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, in Vegas. We yeah, right, exactly. That All right. Type of stuff. We got quite a collection here, folks. <laughs> they are scary. They remind me of the famous saying, I don't know if they scare the enemy, but they scare me. Anyway, contestants, good luck. You're going to need it. Everyone, please turn your attention to our game board. It's Jimmy and Chippy. Tell us our first five topics. All right, Aunt Chippy, read them away. Things Ben put money in besides a stripper's G-string. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't Lee Major infection married to the antibiotic woman? Oh. <laughs> the dance instructor turned lawyer was accused of leading the witness. Mm. <laughs> the pasta chef checked his calendar and said, I can meet you penny time. There you go. And? In her frisky early years, the British actress was known as Fornicate Blanchett. <laughs> Fifty to one hundred fifty dollars of my money. We'll start with you, Esther. Please pick a topic. I'll take the dance instructor turned lawyer was accused of leading the witness. Fifty dollar question: In what common waltz dance step do the feet move in a pattern that approximates a square? Dan. Fox. Judge. Yes, that'll do it. Fifty dollar question: When performing a waltz, the woman puts her right hand in the man's hand and her left hand on what part of his body? Back. Judge? No. A stare. The shoulder. The shoulder it is, a stare. Very good. That's not where Aunt Chippy puts it. <laughs> <laughs> What's our next category? 
Excalibur is? <laughs> Controversial children's book other than Barf, Why the Elephant? Right. And it's there. You had the correct answer. You get the pick. In her frisky early years, the British actress was known as Fornicate Blanchett. Hundred dollar question. Actress Kate Blanchett was nominated for a 1998 Academy Award for her role in what historical drama? Michael. Titanic? No, no. Esther. Elizabeth. Elizabeth it is. Very good. <laughs> Esther, what young actor whose brother is also a well-known thespian co-starred with Kate Blanchett in Elizabeth? Can't think of it. Michael? Eric Roberts? No. Good guess, though. Dan? Ray Fiennes? No, no, Joseph Fine. Joseph Fine. Oh, Awfully close right. there, Dan. Awfully close. Joseph Fine guest, so answer <laughs> the next category. Don't piss off that Motown girl group, Martha and the Vendettas. <laughs> Star, you get to choose. Don't piss off that Motown girl group, Martha and the Vendettas. $100 question. What highly successful 1960s Detroit girl group started out as the Primettes? Michael. Supremes. Supremes it is. Very good. <laughs> The Pips were backup singers for what female Motown artist? Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight, it is Michael. Why don't we take a break? Give Aunt Chippy a chance to, uh, well, what do I know? Have a drink. Okay, that have a drink. Good. And then we'll be back so much for money. These vampires can take away from me right after this. Which of Jimmy's relatives will be my new co-host on Win Ben Stein's Money episode? Right now, we have a two-way tie for the lead, $150 each for Michael and Esther. And uh, Jimmy and Chippy, what's our new category? The new category is the teenage car told his old man to get uh, Bentley. <laughs> all right, Michael, you had the last quick answer. You get to pick first. The teenage car told his old man to get Bentley. $50 question. In 1908, the Olds Motor Vehicle Company became a division of what larger automobile corporation? Michael. GM. GM it is. Very good. $50 As for early Oldsmobiles, compared them not to other cars, but to what reigning mode of transportation? Horse and carriage. Judge? Yes, that'll do it. is I can see my face in this rainbow pool the war vet said reflectively Excellent. Excellent. All right. Michael you want to choose I like the way that sounds I can see my face in this rainbow pool the war vet said reflectively $50 query in 2000 the Washington Mall's rainbow pool was approved as a site for a memorial honoring the veterans of what war Dan the second world war very good very good $50 is located between the Washington Monument and what memorial? Vietnam? No. Michael? Lincoln. Lincoln it is, Michael. Lincoln it is. Now, the World War II has before you were even born, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Our next category is? <laughs> the mollusk went to the lavatory to go gastropody. Uh, less than two minutes left in the round. Michael, you get to choose. Uh, things my man Ben put money in besides a stripper's G-string. $50 question. What whimsical ceramic coin receptacles were originally made in England out of a cheap clay known as pig? That's there. A piggy bank. Piggy bank it is. Very good. <laughs> Two words during the first were receptacle placed near a business's cash register to encourage gratuities. It's not pushkey, is it? Pushkey? <laughs> what? Michael? <laughs> Tip jar. Tip jar, of course. <laughs> But I don't even want to get into the Bushkey thing. Our next category is? If you died here in Nebraska, you'd be Omaha by now. All right, Michael, you get to choose. The pasta chef checked his calendar and said, I can meet you penny time. I think it's colander, but that's all right. That's a small thing. $50 question. The name of what straight Italian noodle can be literally translated into English as a length of cord? Dan. Spaghetti? Yes, spaghetti. Very nice. <laughs> Ingredient Dan in a marinara sauce. Tomato. Tomatoes, it is. Very good. All 
right. That's the end of first no, round. No, it isn't. It isn't. Remember, yes. no, because they're tied. They're, they're, oh, you're right. I forgot because I haven't done this show well, in a Well, that's time. all right. We I missed... blame Aunt Chippy for this. Here's how it works. Ben's going to ask you a tiebreaker question to stare in, Dan. Whoever gets it right first moves on. If you get it wrong, you're out, all right? So be you're careful. You're out of this, Michael, because you're already going on to the next round. So between Astaire and Dan, here's the question. What is the third planet from the sun? Dan. Earth. Earth it is. Very good. All right. He knows it because he lives here. That's the end of the first round. Michael, you're moving on. Dan, you're moving on. Astaire, I'm so sorry. We're going to miss you. Oh, right there. there. Absolutely. I'm sorry. But I'm going to miss we'll you. We'll see you in court. <laughs> <laughs> we shall miss you, Astaire. You played a great game. Thank you very much for playing. You've only managed to take $350 of my money, Dan has $200, and I have $44.50 remaining of my original $5,000 stake, which I'll once again defend by becoming a common contestant. All right. From this point forward, there's no advance knowledge of any of the questions to be asked. Isn't that right, Ben? I'm sorry, say again, please. Huh? Huh? I didn't hear what you said. You don't know the questions, right? No, I don't. No, I'd like, right. like to. All right. And uh, whoever's the highest score at the end of this round, whether it's Michael or his teenage son, Dan, go on and play against Ben 101 for five thousand dollars This is my Aunt Chippy. She's auditioning for the co-host chat. I think she's doing a great she job is, so far. Right. Her hobbies are video poker and screaming at people. <laughs> Let's have a look at our topic. Screaming at they are. <laughs> the Immaculated TV anchor asks how his newscast rated. Uh -huh. <laughs> my mechanic dropped some battery acid and he experienced an alternator reality. <laughs> Some people call the New York street artist's masterpiece Whistler's Mugger. <laughs> the Western author's book was a bumpy three-part series because he always wrote in stages. Uh -huh. <laughs> you do the next one. Okay, things laid by a duck beside the decoy with big honk hunkers. <laughs> Okay, a TV anchor asked how his newscast rated. All right, hit him with an okay. answer for $200. Two hundred dollars. What classic television sitcom featured a dim-witted newsman named Ted Baxter? And Mary Tyler Moore Show. Very good. Very good. All right. All right. Let's look at our new category. It is that German claimed he was only following religious orders when he became a jackboot hit. <laughs> Uh, I'll try. The Western author's book was a bumpy three-part series because he always wrote in stages. For $300, born in 1908, what novelist of tales of the American West, like The Shadow Riders, claimed that his first draft was always his final draft? Lamour. Correct. That's right. Did you read that book? Lazy son of a bitch, that movie. <laughs> Next category is the saucy chef wanted to skip the fork play and go right to the main coitus. <laughs> I'll try. Uh, the German claimed he was only following religious orders when he became a Jack Buddhist. For $300, Prussia was conquered and Christianized in the 1200s by what German religious military order? Michael? Lutheran? No. The Huns? No. Some knights, but I forget what they were called. That's right, that's right. The Hollywood Knights. Hollywood no. Knights? The, uh, <laughs> the Teutonic Knights. Oh, right, the Teutonic oh. Knights. Anybody's knight. You get at least half for that. <laughs> Our next category is African American opera singers <laughs> other than Placido Mandingo. <laughs> I, uh, my mechanic dropped some battery acid and experienced an alternator reality. All right. Okay, for $300, named for its inventor, what type of internal combustion engine uses a triangular-shaped rotor which revolves within an oval-shaped chamber? Dan Winkle. Yeah, very good. Very good. <laughs> 
as you get older, you'll really enjoy playing with your wankle. Yeah. <laughs> Our uh, next category is stranded on the flooded island. The nymphomaniac uh, cried, "I need a mon soon." <laughs> and uh, less than a minute left in the round. Things laid by a duck besides a decoy with big honk honkers. For two hundred dollars, sharing its name with a type of purse. What word refers to a batch of eggs laid by a duck in a single sitting? Michael? Clutch. Clutch is wrong. Oh, my God. <laughs> After the unemployed ball player ran out of spare changeup, he threw two innings on relief. Uh -huh. uh, Michael, you get to choose. Uh, that works. After the unemployed ball player ran out of spare changeup, he threw two innings on relief. Uh -huh. For $200. What former relief pitcher and Cy Young Award winner for the Milwaukee Brewers was famous for his handlebar mustache? Fingers. Molly yeah, Fingers. Right. Right. Yes, over. Dan comes back. Wow. Wow. You played a hell of a game. I'm very impressed. And I, I must say, this gives me a lot more confidence in my bank. Though there are people like you there answering the phone. You played a beautiful game. I'm going to take your $550. I'll just deposit it in the bank up here in honor of you working at a bank. I'll just deposit it in the bank. There we are. You didn't have to wave in line or anything. Now we come back and we're mano a mano against a very young and very smart Dan for all $5,000 of my money. Stay tuned. It will be horrible. You've taken seven hundred dollars away from me, and that's yours to keep. Although, of course, the IRS will come behind your chimney and take away about half of it. Uh, now, I have a chance to walk out here with all five thousand dollars of my cash. I bow to your good uh, nature. Uh, they're going to tell you uh, how the best ten thousand dollars is played. Could you please, uh, Mr. K and Aunt Chippy? Yeah, why not? <clears throat> all right. Anything you want to ask Ben? Or say to Ben? I have the job, don't I? We could spend a lot of time together. Yes, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, Be careful, she bites. Later. We'll adopt you. All right, Aunt Chippy, you, you, you're going to have to calm down because it's um, the important pro part of the program. I'm going to ask Ben and Dan the same ten questions. Dan, if you can answer more than Ben does, you get his $5,000. You want to go first or second? I'll go second. Oh, very interesting. All right. Well, you get Let's go. Let me have a drink of my brain of fluid. Right there, it's fine. Yeah, you have a drink of that. What's that? Oh, that's uh, coffee? No. no. It's a secret brain of fluid. I see. I see. All right. <laughs> There's plumbing in that seat. Yeah. All right, everybody. Ben, you got 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. I'm assuming you know how this works. I am still doing my best. Are you ready? I still do my best. Let's begin. In a traditional game of Monopoly, what is the last place a player can land before passing go? Uh, hard place. No. Lethe, the Greek river of forgetfulness, is located in what mythical world of the dead? Uh, Hades. Yes. From what infectious disease did Oliver Cromwell die in 1658? Ooh, um, pneumonia? No. Also known as a plectrum, what hard device is used to pluck the strings of a stringed instrument? A, a pick. Yes. What Olympic track event is Joan Benoit famous for running? The, uh, hurdles. No, in January 2002, what legendary French fashion designer retired at the age of 65? Yves Saint Laurent. Yes, what is the war-inspired two-word name for street performances used for social protest? Uh, guerrilla theater. Yes, the name of what desert is Mongolian for waterless place? Gobi. Yes, what is the last name of the animated Nickelodeon character, SpongeBob? Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. Yes, who was the first sitting American president to shake hands with Fidel Castro? Uh, that was probably, gee whiz, I'll say Carter. No, it wasn't. It was Clinton, but oh. you did very well. You got the, uh, you got the six, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Malaria on Cromwell died up in a boardwalk was the oh. part we were looking for. All right, let's see uh, how Dan can get Hey, Dan, what's happening? Not Have you met my Aunt Chippy? Have I met her? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. pretty good. All right. <laughs> Anything you want to say to Dan before we begin? 
Good luck, Stan. All right. Thank you, Aunt Chippy. All right. <laughs> well, I get Christmas he cards from you. He's the nephew, you know? <laughs> yeah, he is. I want a Christmas card this year. Oh, All right, okay. we'll get you one, Thank then. You. you just calm down. Six questions uh, you have to answer. You have to beat six. You ready? Beat six. All right. Well, let's begin. In a traditional game of Monopoly, what is the last place a player can land before passing go? Boardwalk. Yes. Lethe, the Greek river of forgetfulness, is located in what mythical world of the dead? Haiti. Yes. From what infectious disease did Oliver Cromwell die in 1658? The flu. No. Also known as a plectrum, what hard device is used to pluck the strings of a stringed instrument? Uh, needle. No. What Olympic track event is Joan Benoit famous for running? Heptathlon. No, in January 2002, what legendary French fashion designer retired at the age of 65? Ives Saint Laurent. Yes, what is the war-inspired two-word name for street performances used for social protest? Guerrilla movement. No, the name of what desert is Mongolian for waterless place? Sahara. No, what is the last name of the animated Nickelodeon character SpongeBob? Squarepants. Yes, who was the first sitting American president to shake hands with Fidel Castro? Uh, Eisenhower. No, it was Bill Clinton. It doesn't matter, though, because you did not be paying. Come on out of the booth. Go score. You scared me to death. You are very, very smart, Kelly Dan. I'm relieved you didn't get my $5,000. I'm humbled to be walking out of $700 of my money. Congratulations. You Thirty-three hundred. I'll use take on my next opponent. So we're out of time until next time. When I get three more people a chance to win, 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 win,